So we come back to our Touch Designer tutorials. In the last exercise, we have the use of combining, for example, still photos and also a QuickTime digital video into some sort of two-dimensional effect similar to other image processing software like the Photoshop, but we do it in an interactive way. And in this exercise, we can make use of other source of image and in this case if your computer is equipped with a webcam for example we can make use of the webcam image as the image source in order to obtain the image from the image source as a webcam you can make use of the top the texture operator with the video in so in case if you have the camera you can see what you can obtain from your computer so this one is the USB video image and you can turn it on by pressing the play button over here so this is the image of our studio so as usual the final output will go directly to the out if you have nothing to do with between the two of them like this one so this is the image from the webcam and of course we would like to make use of the effect by inserting something between the link over here so one of the things we can insert is a command which is kind of useful in a lot of cases and it's also very simple it's the tau so the use of tau will actually create uh, kind of collage like material where you can have multiple of the same image in the row and also in the columns so the one default of this one is 2x2 two two. you can select the parameter on the tile you can see the repeat is 2x2 two two over here and you can also do the flipping on the x and y dimension and usually a lot of case will make use of the refract to create more visually present images like this one and if you have a look of the zoom in image you can see over here and actually it only work if you move your camera or move your, your object in front of a camera to create this kind of effect and in addition you can also align the amount of overlap between those tiles and then you can see the combination in this way so if you would like to have more combination of the tile you can insert more between the first tile and the output objects so you can have more of them like this way So this is a lot of graphical visual effect or illusion you can create by just one very simple operation using the tile and also with one single image source like your webcam or one piece of pictures. So this is the use of the tile we can play around with the webcam and the connection between them. And the next one we can also have a look to play around is we can create something like the scan line effect. First of all, we can first have a look of the information about this video input. For every time types of input like your movie, your image, or webcam image we can make use of one object which is new over here so at this point of time we have been using the top and composition and the next one we are going to use is the channel operator the chop and it's come with the info when we press the info over here you can drag this one 
this is the video image onto the first parameter in the parameter window, the NOC path. And it will give you information about this video image. So you can have a look of the resolution 320 and the 240, the aspect ratio and the depth. And those are the information which can be very useful when you are working on with some sort of calculation about the resolution. So the next step is we make use of the texture operator. We come back over here by using the crop and then connect here. So once you select the crop with the proper parameter, you can play around with the options like where you start to crop from the left hand side or from the right hand side, from the bottom margin and also from the top margin. In this case, we would like to create one single piece of pixel in a horizontal line and we'll make use of the center of the screen. So we come to the half of the screen for the bottom and also half of the screen on the top. So this will give you one single piece of this particular pixel. And when you move your webcam, you can see the change in the color of this particular piece of pixels. And the next step is when you select this crop, actually it's come with two tab over here. So the last tab usually is a term called common and which is common to most of the objects. They all with, come with this particular common selection. In one of the selection called the wax solution, you have the default input with 320 by 240. And we can, for example, select the custom resolution and we make use of the existing one 320 and 240. It will give you this particular effect. So the single piece of the pixel lines will be extend from the top to the bottom and this is the output and with similar approach you can consider for example by doing one more crop but for this one you can do a horizontal line so we start with the center we create a vertical piece of pixel so we have O5 and O5 for the left and the right for you to crop. And then for the resolution, again we do the custom for 320 by 240. And it will give you this sequence of horizontal line. So when you move your webcam, you will see the change in those color bar. And the next step is you can consider, for example, to combine the two of them by using the objects we have come across previously. The composite. And use different options for the composite, like for example, the add the difference. So you find that the use of difference or so multiply will come to a more visually present images. You can have a look for the combination. So when you move around your webcam or when you just go out and move in front of the webcam, you can create some of the very interesting visual effects on your screen.